Welcome to the Altera eLearning presentation, the EC Pre, Intel FPGA IP, Getting Started. This training is the first in a series of courses designed to help you become familiar with Altera's IP solution targeting the Enhanced Common Public Radio Interface, or EC Pre, protocol. By the end of this course, you will be able to describe why FPGAs and the EC Pre IP together make a good solution when implementing a front hall interface. You will be able to describe how IP fits into a RAN solution targeting the FPGA. Finally, you will be able to describe some of the specific features of the EC Pre IP. The course will begin with an overview of the EC Pre IP. Then, we will look at some of its key features. We will finish by looking at some of the other 5G IP from Altera, which are complementary to the EC Pre IP. This training assumes that you have a good understanding of the EC Pre protocol, as we will not spend much time defining its details. The course also assumes you are familiar with the Cordis Prime Pro software tool suite and its design flow when targeting Altera FPGAs. And while not absolutely necessary, a good understanding of Altera FPG architecture is helpful. If you have further questions on the 3GPP or EC pre-spec, here are links to some resources. This includes links to the EC pre IP user guide and the design example user guide. If you need to download and license the EC pre IP, you can find information on this in the IP user guide. So let's start with an overview of the EC Pre IP. The EC Pre IP implements the EC Pre interface protocol used in front hall connections between the baseband unit and the remote radio head. Using the EC Pre packet based methodology, additional bandwidth can be transported using fewer fibers in comparison to C Pre. To do this, the IP core can support both EC Pre radio equipment control or EREC, and EC Pre Radio Equipment, or ERE, the two endpoints to an EC Pre link. Together, the EREC and ERE comprise a single EC Pre node, so a system requires at least one of each. This is pictured in the block diagram at the bottom of this slide. The EC Pre IP is compliant with version 2.0 of the EC Pre specification. It supports all three information flow types, user plane, synchronization plane, and C and M, or control and maintenance plane. To create a more complete RAN solution, the EC Pre IP can be paired with the ORAN IP from Altera or another vendor. For the transport layer, the EC Pre IP has interfaces to connect to both soft and hardened versions of Ethernet IP in select devices. Being familiar with the 3GPP and EC pre specs, these diagrams should look familiar to you. To review, the 5G 3GPP spec defines eight major functional partitions or split options for implementing radio network functionality. Split 7 is then further subdivided into sub options 7.1, 7.2, and 7.3. These splits allow designers to determine where they want to implement certain baseband processing as different systems have different topology and system requirements. These diagrams show a partial look at the functional splits, focusing on split 6 to 8 with the 3 GPP Phi on the left and matching it to the EC Pre Phi functional split on the right. The splits also allow the designer to control the required interface bandwidth. These numbers here demonstrate some capacity examples resulting from a 236 gig bandwidth requirement at the radio. In our example here, the highlighted area calls out the 7.2x split specified by the ORAN Alliance, where a 236 gig bandwidth requirement at split 8 drops to a 20 gig bandwidth requirement at split 7.2. The EC Pre IP provides an excellent solution for your EC Pre needs. Pairing this IP with a programmable fabric and highly configurable high speed transceivers, the FPGA provides a unique platform that supports various functional splits, interface standards, and upgradability. 
The table on this slide highlights some of the RAN scenarios requiring programmability that benefit from the use of Altera FPGAs. For front hall interfaces, 4G uses split 8 and the CPRI protocol, while 5G uses split 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4, supported by ECPRI, ORAN, and Radio over Ethernet, or ROE, as designers try to support both standards using IP and equipment, old and new, the need may arise to support different splits and different interfaces. Regarding front hall processing, devices may need to implement differing file layer functions to satisfy specific requirements. Using FPGAs means that functions, such as compression or pre-coding, can be moved into or from the FPGA as needed with relative ease. Finally, on COSP deployment, vendors can exploit classic FPGA advantages to design their systems with post-deployment upgrades in mind. Thus, upgrading from 4G to 5G, changing frontal interfaces and functional splits, and modifying transport protocol features can be done with the same device and hardware and sometimes even in system. This diagram shows the EC pre IP and how it can connect to other interface IP in a system. Here, we see the ORAN subsystem portion of an enhanced or next-generation node system. You have the EC pre IP interfacing with Ethernet MAC and FIS on one side for access to the transport network and ORAN IP on the other side in both the distributed and remote units. This table shows the Altera FPGAs and the Ethernet IP solutions that are supported by the EC pre IP. For Agilex 5 FPGAs, there is initial support for 10G Ethernet, with 25G planned in a future release. For Agilex 7 FPGAs, the IP is currently supported on E tiles and F tiles, with the tile resources configured for 10G or 25G Ethernet operation. For Stratix 10 devices, the IP is supported on FPGA variants with H and E tiles, again when 10G or 25G operation is chosen. For ARIA 10 devices, all variants are supported with 10G operation. Always refer to the user guide for the latest in-device support information. The EC Pre IP also has support for interworking function, or IWF Type 0. This allows the IP core to serve as a bridge between an EC Pre network and a C Pre node or nodes, converting EC Pre message types 0, 2, 6, and 7 to C Pre. The advantage is in bridging to older equipment that uses the CPRI standard, eliminating the need for complete replacement. When IWF Type 0 support is enabled, bridge logic is inserted between the CPRI node and the ECPRI link, so that the ECPRI link sees an ECPRI connection when looking towards the node, but the CPRI IP sees only a standard CPRI interface. Now that you have a good high-level understanding of the EC Pre IP and its place in a system, let's look at some of its key features. The table on this slide and the next summarize some additional features of the EC Pre IP. The IP supports multiple Ethernet frame types including source and destination MAC address frames and VLAN frames along with IP4 and UDP. This includes Jumbo Frame support up to 9,000 bytes. There is support for up to eight destination MAC addresses. Default addresses can be programmed when configuring the IP, but can be updated using the IP's programmable control and status register space. For packet processing, the IP contains logic to handle packet classification and routing on incoming packets, header removal for incoming packets and header insertion for outgoing packets. The logic can also handle payload concatenation and deconcatenation, allowing two or more EC pre-messages to be combined into single Ethernet, or IP, UVP packets. These processes and flows are covered in the follow-up training to this one. The IP has a programmable packet queue for staging incoming packets for its arbitration logic. The arbitration rules are also covered in the follow-up training. 
For the C and M plane, there is an optional feature for SNMP and ICMP packet classification and filtering. For the synchronization plane, the IP has classification and filtering logic to perform EC pre one way delay measurement using the Precision Time Protocol, or PTP logic, in the corresponding Ethernet IP. The IP has resources to detect many types of transmission errors, including timeout errors. For quality of service, the IP can check for VLAN and stack VLAN tags and map tags to a vendor-specific EC pre-PC ID. The IP also uses user-programmed CSR priority logic to arbitrate between the different package types. For our last section in this course, we quickly want to highlight the other IP available for 5G RAN solutions. This slide lists some additional 5G IP that are available today. As mentioned before, Altera offers an available ORAN IP core. It is supported on the same device families as the ECPRE IP. Then there is also the CPRE IP. It is supported in many Altera devices, including the ones mentioned previously, and can connect to the ECPRE IP when IWF Type 0 is enabled. Lastly, there is the 5G LVPC IP for encoding and decoding data streams in 5G wireless transmission channels. Use the links on this page to access documentation on these IP cores. This concludes our introductory look at the EC Pre IP. In this training, you learned how Altera FPGAs and the EC Pre IP can make a good solution for your front hall interface requirements how the EC Pre IP fits into a RAN solution along with other Altera IP, and some high-level features of the IP. The Altera training team is always looking to improve our material. To do this, a survey will be emailed to your registration email address. We welcome any feedback you may have. Thank you for viewing this course and have a good day.